Hey you guys and welcome back. Today is hopefully day four of the 12 days of Christmas. What I'm gonna be doing today is a video on all of my favorite berry and plum lipstick shades. I don't actually wear berries and plums on my lips that often, but I did go through a phase where I really, really liked the shades. And I do feel like I'm slowly getting back into like the berry lipstick phase. I know that you guys have asked for a video on berry shades in the past, so here it is. I have a whole bunch to share with you. So like all my other videos, I'm going to be swatching everything on the back of my hand as well as on my lips. The people above me are drilling or doing something in their house right now and it's so loud. So if this video is very jump cutty and I don't know, there's just weird noises, it's because I am dealing with a very loud neighbor right now and um, this is really my only day to film this. We have a mixture of like liquid lipsticks and regular lipsticks in this video. This one is the Physician's Formula Healthy Lip Velvet Lipstick, liquid lipstick in the shade Berry Healthy. I think it's a wearable berry. It's more like a nude berry. It's kind of a muted, toned down berry shade. And the formula of the Velvet Liquid Lipsticks from Physician's Formula is also really nice. It's a little bit more of a, I guess, satin lipstick. Like it doesn't really dry down. It's gonna transfer. If you're looking for something that's gonna be super long wearing, I wouldn't recommend this liquid lipstick formula, but if you do want something that's gonna be comfortable on your lips, that applies like a liquid lipstick and does look matte and velvety, I think you would really like this one. They're actually a really good formula for the winter time because they're not drying. Next shade is from Essence. This is their lipstick in the shade Crazy. It's from their This Is Nude collection. This is more of like a pinky berry tone. It's a little bit less nude than the Physician's Formula one, it has more of that pinkish purpley undertone. I love the formula of the Essence This Is Nude lipsticks. It, they are very comfortable on the lips. They have a little bit of a sheen to them and the color selection is really pretty in the range as well. They have so many different types of nudes. Crazy is definitely a winter shade for me. Like I feel like it has that like cooler undertone that looks beautiful in the winter time. Again, it's a little easier to wear than some of the deeper berries that I'll show you. I feel like it's a perfect like everyday work type of shade for the winter months. Okay, next we have a lipstick for Maybelline. This is their Superstay Ink Crayon in the shade Ex Except Adair. This is a brighter berry tone. It's almost borderline magenta. The formula of the ink crayons for Maybelline is really nice. They're fairly long wearing. They have a really nice color selection. They feel comfortable on my lips. They don't dry up my lips. And the fact that they're in this pencil form makes it really easy to apply in the morning. They're just a nice lipstick formula. Except a dare is just that perfect brighter berry shade. I actually really like this one. I didn't really like it when I first purchased it and tried it, but it's growing on me every day. I think it's a fun shade to try this winter. The next one is another one for Maybelline, but this is their liquid lipstick Superstay Matte Ink. And this is in the shade Ruler. It's an easier berry shade to pull off because it pulls a little bit warmer and it's not quite as intense. It's actually a really stunning color. I feel like I don't have a, another lipstick in my collection that is this exact shade. The formula of the Superstay liquid lipsticks is very long wearing, comfortable on the lip. They are a little bit stickier, so they take a little bit longer to dry down, but when they do dry down, they don't transfer, they last a super duper long time, and they're very matte on your lips. Definitely one of my favorite that I'm gonna be sharing with you today. Okay, next we have, actually this might be like one of my favorites that I'm sharing with you today. This one is from NYX, it's one of their full throttle lipsticks in the shade Locked. These are such an in interesting formula. I feel like nobody talks about them. Don't know if like NYX discontinued them, but I really hope they don't because the formula of these full throttle lipsticks is like nothing I've ever tried. Always think of them as a liquid lipstick, but in bullet form. They do not budge, they do not transfer, they dry down completely matte, and they're gonna stay on your lips all, all day. I actually really like them, and I hope that NYX does not discontinue them, unless they come up with something that's equally good. Hopefully you can still get them. Locked is just one of those stunning shades. It's just such a deep, dark, purpley plum shade. I really, really like it. It looks so beautiful on the lips. And the fact that it is a lipstick that you can apply straight from the bullet and it's like transfer proof, that is so incredible to me. And I really, really like the full throttles. So hopefully 
you can still get them. Next, we have one from e.l.f. This is one of their liquid lipsticks. It's in the shade Wine Tour. I know it's called Wine Tour, but I actually feel like it's more of a berry than a wine shade. Like, I've never thought of this as a wine shade. Oh, but maybe they meant, like, grapes, which are berries, I think. Are grapes berries? I actually don't know what grapes are considered. Now that I swatch them beside each other, it's so similar to NYX Locked. Oh my gosh, it's like almost the same. NYX is maybe a little bit browner. I'm not the biggest fan of the e.l.f. formula of their liquid lipsticks. I feel like they don't last on me at all. They are really pigmented and easy to apply, and they do dry down matte without transferring, but I just don't like the stain power of them. If you don't mind the stain power, I feel like Wine Tour is a really beautiful shade to try out, especially for this time of the year. All right, next we have another liquid lipstick. This is from Rimmel. This is their Stay Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Plum This Show. So I think we're now going into more of the plums versus the berries. It reminds me of like pomegranate seeds or smushed raspberries. I guess actually, no, it really does remind me of like smushed raspberries. The color is really beautiful. It's a little bit more red than the other shades I've shown you so far. The formula is not the best on these, and I feel like this one can look a little bit patchy almost. Not like patchy, but just certain areas end up being a little bit deeper than others. I don't mind the formula in this particular shade because I kind of like how it looks a little bit, I don't know, like not uneven. Well, I guess a little uneven. I don't know how to explain it. It just looks really pretty when it's kind of like uneven, like you'll maybe see in the swatch. They are pretty comfortable liquid lipstick. They just don't have as great a staying power as the L'Oreal ones or the Maybelline ones. They do dry out my lips just a little bit. I actually think Rimmel came out with satin versions, which might be better. Plum the show is really pretty and I had to include it obviously, not just because Plum is in the name, but because I really do like the shade, especially for the holidays. The next one is from L'Oreal. This is their Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipsticks, one of my favorite, no, probably my favorite liquid lipstick formula of all time, and this is in the shade Plum Bum. This one is definitely deeper, like it is a very smoky purple shade. It's way different than the other ones I've shown you today. It's got that smoky grayish undertone, but I really, really like it. I think it's such a unique and fun shade to wear in the winter time. Plus, I love the formula of these liquid lipsticks. They are just so long wearing. They do not budge on my lips. They don't transfer and at the same time they don't feel dry It's like the perfect formula ever. They're a little bit thick I will say that they do kind of feel thick on your lips like you can definitely feel them there They're not lightweight or anything like that, but they last forever they don't transfer you do want a really really long wearing liquid lipstick formula definitely try out one of the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipsticks. And last, but definitely not least, is the one that's on my lips right now. This is from NYX. It's their Suede Matte Lipstick in the shade Girl Bye. It actually has a little bit more of a brownish undertone, but I feel like it still has those hints of berry, those hints of plum. Now that I look at all these shades together, I feel like I didn't... Ah, I feel like I never nailed these videos. I feel like these aren't really berries anymore. I don't know, maybe it's just because they're all together like this. But anyway, I do really like Girl Buy. I think it's a really, really pretty shade. And the formula for the suede mattes by NYX is so good. It's one of the best bullet form lipstick formulas that I've ever tried. Super long wearing, very matte, feel comfortable on the lips. Also, the shade selection is amazing. NYX has so many colors. I just really like Girl Buy for this time of the year. I feel like it's manageable like it is deep and bold but it's also wearable at the same time so that sums up this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope that these actually are berries i'm really sorry if these are not the more i look at them the more i'm thinking that i missed the mark on this one but i do hope you enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching thank you for all your support in real time like in my real time, I just hit 9,000 subscribers. So thank you so much and welcome if you're new. I should have probably said that at the beginning, but welcome. Hope you enjoy the rest of the 12 days of Christmas. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I will leave my handles right here on the screen. Please subscribe if you would like to see more videos and I will see you tomorrow.